Hey, what's up, YouTube? You already know it's All City Live TV, and thank you for tuning in. Today, we're going to be reviewing and breaking down Ticino's new shot creator build. Ticino just uploaded the video for this shot creator build that he's going to be using in NBA 2K21. He just uploaded that on his channel, so if you want to go show him some love, please do so. And today, we're going to be reviewing that shot creator build from badges to the build makeup, the attributes, the um, wingspan, the height. We're going to talk about it all because I've always been been a fan of Ticino. I always wanted to play like Ticino. Here's some of the moving shots. We could all agree that in NBA 2K20, we learned that he's not the absolute best player on 2K, but he is absolutely the most unique player on 2K because there's not many players out there that can hit the shots that Ticino hits with that shot creator build. So I'm going to try once again because I've made his build a couple years over. I've made his build the same exact makeup, everything, but I wasn't able to hit not nearly as many shots as Ticino hits so I'm gonna try once again this year on NBA 2k21 to make his build and see if I can take some unique shots like Ticino takes and make some of them I only need I don't have high standards I only need about a good 25% of the shots that Ticino makes and I'd be happy so we're gonna make this build we're gonna talk about it see what it looks like on screen go over the attributes the badges and see if it'll work out for us here at all city live tv and you guys let me know what you guys think of this build as well let's get right into it All right, guys, so right off rip, we know that the shot creator builds Achilles heel is the defense. It doesn't have a good defense. We know this off rip is considered an offensive player. You can see his badges, seven finishing, 20 shooting, 17 playmaking, and six defensive badges. That makes a 50 badge build. And I know a lot of you guys are out there like, man, but there's 63 badge builds and this and this and that. But it doesn't, it, it never mattered to Ticino. It never mattered how he played with a uh, lower amount of badges because he was still dominant in what he did and that's what I want to focus on this year I want to base my focus on a particular playing style and see if I could kind of change some things up because the pattern that I took in 2k20 wasn't necessarily didn't meet my standard and I want to kind of meet a whole new standard in playing so let's go over his attributes his close shot is at 82 his driving layup is at 80 but you can see that his driving dunk only goes to 64 so he's not concerning himself with any type of contact dunks and if you watch him play you can see how he really changes his shot on layups that's really important to understand if you're making a build like this you need to understand all of the mechanics to driving in the paint whether you want to change your shot to the left hand if you're going up with the right if you're going up with the left you want to change it to the right hand so things like this is how some these are some of the things that you got to implement into your game and what helps with that is badges like acrobat so We'll go, we'll continue on. His standing dunk was not even increased. His post hook is at a 70. For what reason? Maybe it's just to consider some additional options or increase your finishing badges. That's why you might want to get that to a 70. His mid range shot. Now, this is pre, this is like the pre attributes before adding your wingspan adjustment and your height adjustment. So, this is what you got to consider. These are the numbers pre. We're going to get into the final adjustments in just a second, but the pre adjustment is. Uh, mid-range shot at a 90 87 three-point shot to start off with now that's it seems a fairly low but you guys got to see when you make that wingspan adjustment what this is gonna turn into his post fade is at a 73 and I think this was more so just to get his badges to 20 shooting badges now last year he had 22 shooting badges but the difference is is that there's no quick draw in NBA 2k21 so that's the benefit it's really the same build for Ticino and I'm gonna try to create this same exact build. We're gonna continue on to playmaking. His pass accuracy is at a 79, 87 ball handle, and he put his post moves to 40. That makes up 17 playmaking badges. He went on to defense, perimeter defense up to 75, lateral quickness up to 75. And last year I spoke on this, how 75 seemed to be like a good sweet spot for lateral quickness and perimeter defense. A lot of that was broken last year in 2K20, and I'm hoping that 75 is suitable this year as well. He has an 80 steal. 
steel. He made sure to put his steel all the way up, and he left his block and offensive rebound completely down and added defense to 65, which brought him to six defensive badges. This is pre-adjustment, so we're going to get into the adjustments now to see where we end up and what our final attributes look like for this shot creator build on NBA 2K21. All right, guys, so these are the attribute adjustments when he finalized this build. He has a minimum wingspan. He has a minimum weight, and he also made the build 6'3". This is the usual for Ticino shot creator builds. His speed is at a 90, so that's a good enough and suitable speed for a shot creator build. And we're going to see what changed when he adjusted his height, wingspan, and weight. His close shot lost three points, so it's now a 79. His driving dunk lost two points. He's at a 62. And his post hook lost two points as well, and he's at a 68. But the mid-range shot went all the way up to a 94. And you can see that that's Ticino's bread and butter. He likes the high shooting attributes. That's what helps him make all his moving shots. His three-point shot went up to a 91. So plus four for mid-range, plus four for three-point shot. His free throw stays the same. Post fade went up plus two, so it's now 75. His ball handle by minimizing his wingspan went up plus one, so it's now an 88. And he can he lost some defensive attributes by making those wingspan and height and weight adjustments. So his perimeter defense at a 74, lateral quickness at a 74, steal at a 77. So that dropped three points by minimizing your wingspan. It dropped three points, so it's at a 77. And his defensive rebound, which he He's not banking on drop three points as well and is at a 62. This is the new shot creator build for Ticino on NBA 2K21. I'm looking to make this exact same build. Although this year I think I'm gonna lean toward more towards playing the center position, I will make this build my guard build and see if I can go out there and have some fun, man. If you guys are new to the channel, I actually made it to legend on NBA 2K20, but it wasn't an enjoyable experience we had some good times a lot of highs and a lot of lows but i gotta say hitting legend with the community was the best part about playing nba 2k20 i'm looking to actually have fun on 2k21 so i want to go with a build like this and expand my horizons expand past my limitations and see if we can go out there and enjoy ourselves in 2k21 if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing to our channel as we're gonna have a ton of 2k21 21 content coming your way. I'll catch you guys on the next video.